figure skating queen, Kim Yuna, wore the Dior collection inspired by Blackpink's Jisoo, and she looks amazing. The preppy classic with a touch of punk theme for the collection was absolutely spot on for the starlet. Figure skating legend, Kim Yuna, recently donned the collection for a photo shoot with Dazed Magazine Korea and Vogue Korea. Kim Yuna is often referred to as Queen Yuna by the Korean public for her poise, elegance, and of course, her gold medal achievements. Check out how she represented Dior in the photo shoot. Kim Yuna rocked the preppy look with minimal makeup and pink lips. Some cuts also showed off her Dior lady bag in a light pink, similar to ones we have spotted on Jisoo's Instagram. She rocked this look with a netted barret and bold eyeliner. We love the red and black contrast. She looks like a K-pop star. We loved seeing this new side of Kim Yuna. This actually kind of reminds us of the time Jisoo rocked a thick headband in How You Like That. A little closer to what the public is used to from Kim Yuna, she rocks a low bun and a crisp white blouse. The tall skirt reminds us of her figure skating days, while the blazer is surely a reflection of her more mature self. In a plain white tee, she still looks gorgeous. As Kim Yuna is also a Dior ambassador, it is no surprise to see her kitted out in their looks. While both stars are gorgeous, perhaps Kim Yuna brings out a more matured elegance compared to Jisoo, who makes every look absolutely youthful and fresh. We'd love to snag those fits too. Yuna Kim, also credited in Eastern name order as Kim Yuna or Kim Yuna, is a retired South Korean competitive figure skater. Kim is the first South Korean figure skater to win a medal at an ISU Junior Grand Prix or ISU Grand Prix of figure skating event the ISU Figure Skating Championships, and the Olympic Games. She is the first female skater ever to win every major international competition, namely, the Olympic Games, the World Championships, the Four Continents Championships, and the Grand Prix Final. She is also the first figure skater ever to complete a career Super Grand Slam by also winning the Junior Grand Prix Final and the Junior World Championships. She is one of the most highly recognized athletes and media figures in South Korea. As a result of her numerous accomplishments and popularity, she is frequently referred to as Queen Yuna by various media across the world. She is the former record holder for ladies in the short program, free skate and combined total under the ISU judging system. She has broken world record scores 11 times under the ISU judging system since 2007, eight of which being records she herself set. She is also the first female skater to surpass the 140 point and 150 point free skating mark and the 200 point, 210 point and 220 point total mark under the ISU judging system. Kim was the highest paid athlete in the 21 Olympic Winter Games, the 5th, 7th, 6th and 4th top earning sportswoman in the world in 2010, 2012, 2013 and 2014 respectively according to Forbes.
Kim became a Roman Catholic in 2007 after a devout Catholic doctor helped heal severe skating injuries incurred in 2006 to 2007. Her confirmation name is Stella from Stella Maris in Latin, meaning Our Lady, Star of the Sea, an ancient title of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She often makes the sign of the cross and wears a rosary ring during competitions. Kim has donated more than 3.1 billion won to $0.67 million to various charitable causes as of April 2015. Kim began skating at the age of six. Her coach at the time, Ryu Jong Yoon, strongly suggested to Kim's mother that Kim should continue to skate, predicting that she would become a world-class figure skater in the future. In a 2011 interview, she gave credit to her coaches for noticing her aptness for skating, stating, My coaches have told me my muscles and body structure are perfect for skating. I was born with a good instrument, maybe more so than the talent. I was lucky my coaches noticed early on and helped me develop that a lot of people don't know they are born that way. During her junior years, South Korea had limited facilities for figure skaters, describing training conditions for competitive figure skaters, Kim said in an October 2010 interview with CNN. During my early skating years, there were not many ice rinks in Korea and even the few rinks that existed, most of them were public. Even now, when athletes want to practice, they have to use the rink very early in the morning or late at night. Also, as there aren't enough ice rinks to facilitate all the figure skating teams, skaters often have to train in different rinks from day to day. Furthermore, as most rinks are too cold, there is always high possibility of injury. As proper skate shops were also lacking, Kim frequently had to wear ill-fitting skates in her teenage years, making it hard for her to balance and resulting in many injuries. In 2002, Kim competed internationally for the first time at the Triglav Trophy in Slovenia, where she won the gold medal in the novice competition. A year later, at age 12, she won the senior title at the South Korean Championships, becoming the youngest skater ever to win that title. Thank you.